Hi there YouTube, Petros here. Um, been a while since I did a vlog, so I thought I'd do one now to announce two things. First of all, uh, from now on I'll be doing new videos every Wednesday, so if uh, you like watching anything that I do, uh, you'll get to see it every Wednesday now. Uh, basically, on the first Wednesday of every month, I am now going to be releasing videos about Final Fantasy Zero, specifically detailing to everything that's been going on with the development of it. Um, it's also in a way to sort of like keep me actually developing it, even when I don't have the time to simply because that way I'll, ha I'll have to force myself to do things in order to have something out for the first Wednesday of every month. It's been about uh, two, three weeks now since E3, and um, I've got a few few thoughts on it, really. Um, mostly, the, my last vlog was all about uh, Final Fantasy XIII 2, and when I first did that, my uh, my thoughts on it were not very, um, not very good. I, I thought I was like really thinking, just like, what's the point of all this? Really, really. For all the 33 footage I've watched of Final Fantasy 13 from uh, 13 2 from uh, List of Thumbs dot net and uh, Gamespot and all the others um, out there, uh, listening to people like Angry Joe and Spoonie One talk about it, a lot of it does uh, a lot of it does seem to focus on the fact that it hasn't really changed that much, which is a bit which is not a very good thing. I'm kind of on the fence with it. I've got there are some good things and some bad things about it. First of all. I'll start with the good. The good is that um, it does seem less linear, it does seem a bit more of an open world and you do get to talk to characters and towns are back. Towns! Wow! A Final Fantasy game that has towns! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh my god, it's not as if they haven't had it since 1987! Um, a lot of the sort of dungeon areas as it were, sort of like some branch off of a different path and you can go to different areas, that seems interesting. This uh, live trigger thing that they've got going on, where you can like um, choose to select from uh, like a so, over here, um, like one of the four face buttons. This one of the four face buttons. Um, choose like an option um, of what to do next and how the story is going to progress. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit like Mass Effect, um, the dialogue will. But I think it might be a bit different to that, more of a decisions thing rather than actually what the character is going to say thing. Because I think when the characters actually just say something. It um, ends up. It, um, it actually is detracts away from something that Final Fantasy has always been really good at, which generally has been telling, telling something of a linear story, which I think Final Fantasy XIII took a bit too many liberties with, frankly. Quick time events. That's kind of an iffy one. I mean, it's not exactly something that's great, but I like the fact that it's not something that if you don't complete this, you get game over, like it was in Resident Evil 4 um, and 5, I believe, as well. Did it? Um, it's something that's actually like sort of like you do it and you can get advantages in battle or uh, before battle and stuff like that and it's not really something that you have to do every time. Um, that could be quite interesting. I kind of like the idea behind the mod, cl mod clock, but I'm going to go into that more in the bad because there because it kind of bring, brings back random encounters which I don't like at all. Random encounters are bad. Oh, one thing I do like you can capture crystals um, of enemies you've beaten and then use them in combat as a third and I think maybe later on in the game once you have three party members at least a fourth extra party member which might change the paradigm system a little bit that could be interesting what does bother me however the um, is is the auto battle this is where I'm going to go into the bad auto battle is shit I can see where they're going with it what they were trying to do make the game really fast and fast paced and a lot of times you are on autopilot and the old Final Fantasy was going you were just sitting there just going attack attack Attack. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> but the auto battles, it just removed any really like control from the battle. The only thing you controlled really was like switching up who was doing what, really, and that was the only thing about it, but aside from that it was just very boring. It was just like smashing on the X button until you need to change class. So it's kind of like you're just you're giving you're taking away control from the player. When you're playing a game, you've got to remember the most important thing about playing a game is that the player is interacting with the game. He's not just watching something. You can take it to certain levels with t storytelling, and I don't mind not having like dialogue options. In fact, I quite like having quite a linear story because it progresses in a way that is fluent. And I have yet to see even Mass Effect, which for me, is leagues above Dragon Age. Is well, probably the best Western RPG I've ever seen. Is Mass Effect. Even that, where the main character has a voice and everything. Even that, no Western RPG. Not nice the Oracle, none of them. I haven't seen a single one where the characters have developed quite as thoroughly as, say, Final Fantasy IX, where the characters actually go through a journey through the story, instead of things that you kind of like choose if they're going to go on this journey. It doesn't. 
it becomes a little too much like a game which is a bit strange I guess but yeah and they also cons they brought back random encounters I don't like random encounters bad bad random encounters it, that was the one really good thing about 13 was that there were no random encounters I love that I really really love that and they brought it back. I mean, I'm sure they're going to come up with some stupid plot like monsters are seeping in from other realities or whatever. But what? Why? Why? Why even come up with that? Why not have them there? You can still use the mod clock, but why do the monsters have to go and magically appear in front of you? And you can run away. But I saw the footage. You can't run away that quickly from them. It's pretty difficult. Um. Also, the flying Moogle. I don't like that. That's just this Moogle. I'm not like some other reviewers who don't like Moogles. I quite like Moogles. I think they're funny, cute. They're like a staple of the Final Fantasy series, and it was kind of funny in like this, especially in the, in the like more fantasy like games like Nine, for example, where like the Moogles were just save points and they didn't really play a major point in the game. And in Six, where you kind of had just want this one Moogle who was ca who is like an optional character, and that was kind of fun. But aside from that, really, Moogles are a bit weird and. Especially in 13.2, you've got this Moogle flying around with you, and it's just like, what the fuck is this Final Fantasy? Is this Crystal Chronicles all over again? I, I, I don't know, I mean, he, he changes into weapons. That's going to get annoying with him flying around going, Kapo, 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 all the time. It seems like they've changed a lot, and I'm pleased they have changed it, made it less linear, made it more of an open game. Um, playing as Sarah, I don't know, I, I'll, I'll see, I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment on Sarah for now. Um, Noel seems interesting, a bit maybe upbeat, I hope he doesn't turn into another Tyler slash Vaughn. I just hope he doesn't get to that weird area um, where you get Tidus and you get, well, this. Anyway, um, that's what I've got to say really on 13.2. There'll be other things I'm going to be updating on, like uh, Deus Ex and Skyrim, from what I watched. I really did enjoy a lot of it, and it does look quite good and entertaining. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Um, new videos coming every Wednesday. The next one will be the first. Will be next Wednesday, and it will be a production video for Final Fantasy Zero. Not sure what I'm going to do exactly. I think I might show some of the new introduction that I'm doing, um, revolving around the gladiatorial arena theater. I, I've been a bit influenced by Spartacus recently. It's a good show. Watch it. Anyway, see you later.